in a hire car on my way to a work thing um, in the northeast. Well, not the northeast, Yorkshire. Um, so I thought I'd pop in on Jamie on the way. Let's go and see what he's up to. Wait, Josh, that dog don't get out. <laughs> <laughs> Dog going crazy in the background. This is Jamie's new battery box build, uh, which is going in here in his uh, E91 3 Series with the GS450H motor. Got nice mountings at the front. It's all looking very solid. Very, yeah, very jealous of the electric steering rack rather than my uh, uh, Zephyrus Screamer. Yeah, I'm going to redo this one. I'm going to attach it to the battery box instead of the... Instead of the yeah. side. Gotcha. Because then everything, I'm going to attach everything to the side of the battery box. Because <laughs> the battery box is so <laughs> solid. <laughs> but it's the only, there's nothing to mount to. Yeah, that is the problem. So the battery box is sort of conveniently... I'm going to mount the charger and stuff to the side of the battery box. Uh, yeah. Cool. Unfortunately, it's not like in America where you can just weld whatever you want. No! <laughs> <laughs> Only we were in Florida, we could drive around with no doors on and just weld to whatever we liked. But there'd probably be more road deaths, so you know, swing some roundabouts. So in the back of my hire car, thank you Enterprise, client of mine, so I'll be nice to them, um, is my donation to the cause. Um, this is my old 3D printer, my Creality CR10S Pro. That's I'd rather have had your other printer. <laughs> <laughs> You're not having my Bamboo Labs. I'm actually meeting the chairman of Bamboo Labs in a couple of weeks, um, which is very cool. Oot. Yeah, yeah, I was going to do that. I didn't bring a power cable, I couldn't find one at short notice. I'm sure you've got plenty of uh, kettle leads. Yeah, I can get one. Um, it does need some taking. There's some few bits in here as well, so you can't have my work bag. <laughs> but there's some various build plates and various other bits in there. Instructions, we don't use that. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need instructions. <laughs> right, this is um, audience, ask the audience for help time. So Jamie's getting some very weird symptoms with his, uh, his what has been a very reliable, by and large, uh, electric beetle. So this is running Prius inverter, Outlander front motor generator. Has been driving fine, but now, just describe the symptoms. Basically, intermittently on start, you get no torque. Uh, yeah, and um, it did it when I first put Rob's inverter in, and it there's, there's like, like now nothing it's overcurrenting on very little current um, it did it when I first put the inverter in and then I it didn't do it again I've done 300 miles 400 miles I went to the caravan in it so yeah various rapid charges and then back again is it a Prius or a Yaris inverter this is a Prius one Prius one and then about a month ago it did it once on the way to the shop and it just took restarting it and restarting it a few times and it's been fine since then and then now it does it just about every time and it's not, not working there yeah. something's not really odd but then sometimes once it's done it and i've had a lot of restarts it works perfectly no and it works perfectly throughout that drive yeah yeah until i switch it off again so uh no loss of power once it's working properly no strange noises and uh, let me get this to connect. Nothing, nothing shouts out on the login like the um, the high voltage isn't dropping, the um, hot nom isn't dropping or anything like that. And, uh, kind of eliminated all the obvious stuff. Yeah. Yeah, UDC is staying constant. You yeah. said so. That's there's no like fail connection there. So if I log the two current sensors, you know that. Oh, I don't know. Two current sensors. So they're... The motor's not doing anything, but... The current sensors are... they cut out again. Uh, yeah. What was that? 50 amps? And I love your display, by the way. It needs a better... It needs a clean, but apart from that... Yeah, it needs tucking in and some better 3D printings, but... But the actual design of the display is really cool. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. So I'm opening, um, Damien is sending me an inverter. Yeah. So I'm hoping that's going to... You think it's just it. an inverter issue? It yeah. seems likely since it doesn't seem to map to any of the parameters or it, variables on the controller. No, I don't know if it's like one of the gate drivers has been intermittently failing and now it's failing more than that or... I don't know. 
Yeah. Although, I might just have to whip, you, whip that inverter out and just check I've <laughs> done all the bolts up. <laughs> you are the nemesis for, uh, for Prius inverters. <laughs> I don't think many people's actually running them, are they? Well, I don't know, but you seem to destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> you know that scrapyard that Paul was talking about in Birmingham yeah. with like just hundreds of priests and verses. <laughs> like, just don't get anywhere near them. <laughs> that was fun. Flying visit. Um, off to do some real work now, sadly. Uh, catch you on the next one. Might be a while.